Last fall, when there was a lot of events happening at the border, there was some discussion among some of the assistant professors, faculty, and staff at UCLA, University of Washington, also at the University of Washington Law School. And we felt like we needed to do a bit more. We wanted to just advocate more for, the, for what was happening at the border, specifically the women and children. So things started to progress and we learned about this opportunity to volunteer with CARA Pro Bono. At any given time, there can be up to 2,400 mothers and children detained in Dili. We find that families who are fleeing and making this difficult journey, they do it because they absolutely have to. And I think students are um, an especially valuable type of volunteer because a lot of what they experience here can tie into their studies and they're just getting started with what they want to study and what they want to focus their career on. Many students who have learned about these issues here, I think will continue to have a positive effect on immigration issues wherever they end up um, after college. I knew that I was going to be traumatized coming here. I knew that everything that I've read in the newspaper and magazines, everything I've seen on TV, I knew that that was going to be pale in comparison to what I was going to actually see when I came here. And I was not wrong. I have a lot of experience working with families, uh, especially those families who deal with uh, trauma, who, who have been traumatized. And then um, I had an opportunity to basically use not only my training, my experience, but also my background um, by coming here. So for me, it was just a great opportunity to be able to use those, those elements with the hope of making a difference. When I found out that I was chosen, it was very emotional. It's just a sense of empowerment because I tend to feel very hopeless in these situations when I hear about what's going on just under this administration and just everything in the news. I tend to feel hopeless and don't know my part and what I can do to help. So I just felt very empowered to be able to do something to help this population. For me, walking into the facility for the first time, it was very difficult, um, a bit overwhelming. There were so many families, so many children that were there. And all I kept thinking about was what they've been through. There was a, a look, perhaps, that they had, pretty much all the women that I was looking at. There was a lot of sadness in the way that they looked. There was some sort of like emptiness. The first time when I walked into the facility, um, you know, you, you just see the women and they're, a lot of them are unsure about what's happening, they're unsure why they're there, they're unsure about who we, we even are. So when we first, we get to have these meetings with, our, with clients to kind of explain the process a bit and what really struck me was the resilience of these women, the strength that they have. Um, many of them shared their stories with us and that can be a really difficult process even just to share to a stranger what you've gone through so that's that was really powerful for me. I was pretty nervous to go in because we had been prepped and we had been told we would see situations like sick children, sick mothers and my first reaction walking in was just the colors of their uniforms and just it was very bright but it didn't feel bright it felt very dark. Seeing children running around it it, it was very surreal because it, it felt like I had to remind myself, this is a detention center. Like They're not running around happy. They don't really know what's going on. Those st the stories that we were working together were very hard to hear, very difficult, so graphic. You can see the trauma. You can see how they cry when they, you know, uh, share those stories. All the details is so, hard to, you know, to hear it. And also my first uh, thought was, what would be the outcome of all these women if we are not here to help them? It's definitely been life-changing to hear their stories and hear about everything that they've had to go through and also knowing that this is only the first part to a very long journey. Not only did they 
take this long journey to get here through Mexico or through whatever means that they, they um, cross the border. But now they have a very long process ahead of them. I think it's a wonderful learning opportunity for students. We can talk about these things in classes and, you know, we do talk about immigration policy, but to actually be here firsthand and talk to people uh, who have actually a lived experience. You can't replicate that in the classroom. For my education, I feel that first-hand experience of witnessing what these women have gone through, hearing their stories, it's something that I can say, I witnessed it, I lived it, and this is reality, and we need to do something about it. I'm not making this up. They are not making this up. This is real. I feel like I, I won the lottery because uh, that's why I, you know, enter in the, into the program, in social work program, because I uh, really wanted to help people. The University of Washington is giving me this chance, and I just can't believe it. I just think it's, it's a wonderful opportunity for us, uh, for the students, and for the school, for our profession. Now we have this experience that we, we can share with a lot of people that perhaps will not have the opportunity that we have. I wanted to actually come here and make a difference in the lives of as many children and women as I can in a week. And I've already started doing that.